I think the people in the play are so vividly drawn. There's an, there's an element of a kind of workplace comedy. My word, but these women might do for something in trousers. I'd be downright ashamed to keep after a chap the way she does if I was a girl. And there's a kind of psychological drama in it about sex and power. Yeah, I must go to lunch after all the fuss I made about it. Can I borrow your library book? Yes, you might change it for me. I forgot. What shall I get? Something lascivious. <laughs> and for the characters in the play, particularly the four women who are working as shorthand typists in this office. Love is a chance at real happiness, and it's a chance that's very fleeting, and it can go by you extremely quickly. Get him while he's young and you're young. God knows it's hard enough to get men to the scratch later on. How can you talk like that? Well, you want him. It's remarkable. You know, it's nine characters. They're all utterly distinct. They're at a very different stage of life. They have a different relationship to the office, a different reason why they're there. The amount of time and detail that I think all of these people spent simply processing paper is remarkable to me. You know, you're going to get a letter, you're going to catalog it somewhere, it's going to go in this file, it's going to get recorded, then you're going to pick up a piece of paper, you're going to get the correct envelope, all of that is going to get tracked in a thing that you do again and again and again. Of course, what happened after the war was women went into the workplace because the men weren't around. They then wanted more comfortable clothes. And also, once the war was over, it was all about fun. We need to have fun. It's been so incredibly grim. And then the Depression happened. And then it wasn't so cool to have fun anymore. I am thrilled with this cast. I'm so delighted all of you guys have decided to join us for this production. I think we're really going to have a good time working on it.